today's video I wanted to share a recipe that I've been trying out over the last two months and I really wanted something that was just easy to make, quick and something that didn't have ingredients that I was allergic to so I'm going to start off with butter. After that I'll add two eggs and honey, for the honey I'm also going to be adding 250 millilitres but I do tend to guesstimate this and just pour what I think looks about close enough to that amount into the bowl but if you want to be more precise feel free to do that, I just like to wing things because for me that's the fun in cooking. And after I've mixed these all together I'm going to whisk them, you could use a whisk or you could use a fork, I wanted to use a fork today but a whisk is much faster. Once I've mixed everything together, I'm going to be moving on to the flowers. I'm going to be starting off with tapioca, and this is easily the one that's the most messy. So I like to put this one first and add heavier flowers on top of it so that when I mix it all together, it doesn't go absolutely everywhere. And just like with the butter, I'm using 250 ml for each of them pouring that in and once I've poured in the tapioca, the oats, the almond flour and the desiccated coconut I'm going to mix them up but before mixing them up I thought I wanted to cover how I make these because yes you can buy them but I find that they're so much more expensive so I just get almonds you can get this in any of the world food sections or if you go to any of your local Indian shops you will find whole bags of this it's so much cheaper stick it through a food processor and that will last six months no problem before it goes off and as it is it never lasts six months for me because I eat it before then and I do that with oats as well make flour every two weeks so that I've got enough and that's all I do and it's so much cheaper than buying it when it's already made as a flour. Another thing you can do is add vanilla extract. Mine hasn't been sitting for long enough, it's nowhere near strong enough, so I won't be adding that today, but one thing that I do like to do is add ripe banana. You just mash that up into a pulp, but if you're going to do this, try and add that at the beginning stage when you're mixing the eggs and the butter, because if you do this afterwards, once you've added the flowers, it's an absolute nightmare to blend together nicely. Try and mix that all together first, but once it's all mixed together, you'll have a dough which is very, very easy to just scoop up and drop into a nice little ball on the tray. You can use two different things. You can use a cast iron tray, which is something that I really like to use, or you can use a stainless steel tray. I'm going to be using both just so I can show the different effects. Once you've laid them out on the tray of your choice, pop them into a preheated oven for 11 minutes at gas mark 5 or 6, and then you can feel free to eat them. These did not even last 15 minutes between me and my son just walking past and grabbing a cookie. I don't think they even lasted 15 minutes, but in that time the dough that I had mixed had cooled down, and this is the point where the texture changes completely, and you can do something slightly different with the cookies. So as you can see, it is a lot more solid at this point. The butter has cooled down, and it's made everything a little bit firmer and when this happens what I like to do is I like to lay these out on the stainless steel tray what I'll do is I'll just scoop out a little bit with a spoon roll it in between my hands and then flatten it out into a disc and lay everything out like that I know that some people would butter their tray or use brown paper, but there's already so much butter in these cookies. By the time you've popped them into the oven, let them cook for three minutes and take them out. You just don't need to put parchment paper or more butter underneath. They'll easily twist off while they're still hot and then it's easy to clean. This isn't the case if you let them cool down. If you let them cool down, they are going to stick to the tray a lot more. So if you want to avoid that, just take them off while they're still warm and then try not to eat them all in five minutes, which I may or may not have done. If you like my content and want to follow me on Patreon, that's where you can find my early content, extra content and see the thought process behind things like my books, cover designs, videos and artwork. You can also find me on Instagram, but the best place to follow me and make sure that all my new content is sent directly to you is through my website and the mailing list. On the top right hand corner you put your name, the email you want your new content to be sent to, and that's it. You're done.